Okay, folks, welcome back. So, you can see the color correction I've done. You can see how sharp this 50 millimeter is. Uh, this is on the uh, Nikon uh, ZF. It's only 8 bit, but um, it's the best I can do on the colors, okay? Um, I could put it in 10 bit, but then I would have to load a color profile and stuff. And I says, you know what? I'm not going to deal with it. I um, want to get to uh, video shooting and stuff. So the Battle Royale is this camera, Nikon ZF, against this camera. I change the look on here also, make it kind of match in a way, uh, with the uh, Panasonic S5 II. But it uh, should look a lot better. And you should see l less stuttering, hopefully. But anyhow, it could be the cable, it could be the software writing. I don't know why it stutters, and it just may be on the, the computer itself. Uh, the final product, you may not see any um, stuttering. But anyway, this is 10-bit H265422. Um, if I go any higher, then it's uh, crop mode. So I don't want to do that. So this is the, the full frame. And... Uh, Back here, Nikon. I could put a LUT. I got LUTs I can transfer over. I'm debating on that because this looks so good right now. So my picture looks good. Why even bother? Okay. So you might see another stuttering is because I had, you know, you know me, I pushed the envelope. And by pushing the envelope, I had another camera. And now this is in V-Log3, and I have a LUT applied to it. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So compare this to, let's say, the Nikon. They almost match, okay? But... Looks like I'm a lot closer, doesn't it? So that's the 50 millimeter on this. It's an F1.8. But it's not an L. This is a 50 millimeter F1.8. This is a 50 millimeter F1.8, but it's the S line. But that's a Panasonic over there. So if I come back to the, the Canon... There should be no crop, but I look bigger. So if I do something with the, um, let's bring it down to 15. Okay, that, that looks just about the same. Maybe a little bit more. And it might be because I'm not centered. Okay, that looks about the same now. Yep, just about. Camera's a little bit to the right, but that's right. And of course, yep, it looks good. Only it's a lower... Um, I got another tripod just like that, but I just put it on a smaller one. I could raise it up a little bit, but... Uh, this is good enough. And uh, if we go to the uh, rotating ones, now you can see uh, there we go. So this is rotating. I'm wondering, did I put it on the uh, Yeah, I made it a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. 
and then rotate to this camera. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just bring it up a little bit. And the same thing here. That's, that matches pretty good, doesn't it? So. I want to make sure it's on the right Yeah, it's on the right one. How do I look? So, let's put another one into the mix. This one is the uh, R6 Mark II, 50 millimeter. It has two card slots. You can do 10 bit, 422, just like the ZF. I would have to apply a LUT to it. And I just might go ahead and do that with, I think this is like number three. So a number four, I could probably do the same thing. I'll just add a LUT to it. And, uh, but you know, it, it looks so good as it is right now. Uh, so the R6 II, C-Log 3, and it's in, um, and then uh, the Nikon, it's just regular, but I could add a LED to it. But uh, this looks natural. It's in neutral. Um, the natural's on the Panasonic. So this looks good too. It looks fantastic, in fact. It uh, almost looks like what I look like. I don't know about the pink. But, uh, you know, I could add a little bit of, uh, there, look a little bit more like that. So, that is peach or magenta. There we go. That's a little bit more lifelike. And if I wanted to, I could add a little gamma. As you see, now they look kind of like the same. And um, both this looks uh, um, helpful because uh, now I've added another one. I have the 85 millimeters also. For all three lenses. And then of course. Uh, I just have the kit lens. For the uh, Panasonic. But I have. A whole, all of the lenses. For the Nikon. And I have some. Um, let's see. I have the 16 and the 24. And the 35 also. So I got the 35 on there. The, uh, which is a 1.8. On both of them. On the Panasonic, I don't have a 35 1.8. Well, I could probably pick one up. So anyway, I'm just going to finish this off. If I decide to add another camera, I will. But uh, these three cameras, uh, even if the ZF is uh, $2,000, I figure that after the uh, sale is done, it's going to go to $2,500. And uh, they... Put it down underneath the um, Sony, and I do have two Sonys. I could put in a, a fourth camera in the mix, too. The only difference is with the two Sonys, the A7C2 and the uh, ZE1, or ZVE1, they only have one card slot, and they're smaller, and they're not like this type of camera. It's just a little bit underneath, all right? So, these are more like the professional cameras. Uh, the Z8 is, I think, a little bit above this. I could put the um, Z62 on there, but it has a CF Express card, and none of these, they're only SD cards. So, if I put the ZBE1, it would match this better you know, with the color profile and stuff, compared to, let's say, the A7C that I own. Um, the A7C um, II is a 33 megapixel, but I would have to get the A7 IV, you know, to match these three cameras. And um, so anyway, 
Yeah, the ZV-1 is only a, a 12 megapixel camera. Uh, this one's a 24, Panasonic's a 24. I think the Canon is a 24 also. So I would have to get the, uh, I think the Sony one is uh, a 33. But uh, anyhow, thank you for watching. I'm trying to remember where what camera I'm looking on. So I'm going to finish off with the Panasonic. So uh, if you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any comments or questions, put it down in the comment section below. Maybe I should add the a7 IV to it. Then you got the four best cameras competing against each other. We'll see who wins. But anyway, thank you for watching. And remember, stay safe. Keep smiling. And until next time, I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. And we'll end off with the new boy on the block, the R6 Mark II. Looks pretty good. Bye, folks.